Hey everyone, Zeon over here from Nintendo Life. I don't like saying this out loud, I don't like thinking about it, but sometimes it can be a fun exercise. The Switch is seven years old now, right? It's going into its eighth year, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's think how that's it goes, a, uh, <laughs> the dust. It's not good, hopefully the Switch 2 comes out soon. And since the Switch is so old, that means a lot of different games from the generations past and even things in the future have come to the Switch. There are so many games on the Switch that if you own one, your backlog is probably massive. So to talk about all of the games that haven't made their way to the Switch yet that have really caught us off guard and surprised us, stuff that just doesn't make sense, things that we would have put on our bingo cards over and over again because they, they should be here by now, I'm joined by the fantastic Mr. Felix. I am a person that somehow is here. Oh, thank goodness. Is Alex also here too? Yeah. Alex, please. <laughs> I am, and for a moment, I thought you were just going to say all the games that haven't come to Switch, and I was like, Xeon, we don't have time. <laughs> if only, if only we could think of them all as well. All the games. Pitfall. Actually, I think that is on Switch. Oh yeah, on the Atari collection, I suppose. Yeah, but yeah. probably not all versions of Pitfall, right? So hey, maybe one of us has that on our list. No, very true. You know, it's, it's really interesting to look at the Switch because you'll see, you know, the Switch has things like Portal. We have Doka Upon Kingdom, which really threw me for a loop. We still don't have Call of Duty, but I'm not really one who's uh, chomping at the bit to, to get that one on the system. I know a lot of other people are, but there's there's a lot of stuff already here. Who would like to throw us something that uh, that isn't on Switch yet that you, you, you thought would be here by now? Well, I'd like to get something out of the way, and I do need to preface this by saying in my uh, in my preparation for this video, I forgot that we weren't just restricted to the Wii U, so all the games I've got <sighs> are for the Wii U. <laughs> so Wee! let, you. let's get this one out of the way. Uh, that will explain some of the choices I've uh, I've made. Um, going to start things off though with an obvious one. We've got Xenoblade Chronicles, we've got Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we've got Xenoblade Chronicles 3, yet we don't have Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, What's up with that? Hopefully that's just a matter of time sort of thing, right? But <laughs> I mean, we're rapidly running out of it, surely. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't quite understand why it hasn't come over. I know some people are going to say, well, it had the gamepad features. And it's like, yeah, well, there have been plenty of games that had gamepad features that we've had come over regardless. They've been reworked or we've had like a sequel in the case of uh, Mario Maker, you know, like Splatoon 2. Everyone was like, oh, God, how are you going to do the super jump without the gamepad? And it turns out very easily. <laughs> if anything, I would argue it's easier because you don't have to take your eyes off the map. I mean, speaking of other games on Wii U that have somehow not been brought over, Wind Waker? Wh mm. wh what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm so pleased you said that because I was like, my list is short. I really <laughs> hope you don't dry out my contribution. But I specifically didn't include that because it's kind of a re-release, you know, but please carry yes. on. Yes, I mean, also Wind Waker was have Twilight Princess. I, I just feel like they would work really well on Switch. We have so many Zelda games and those are some glaring omissions. I really want to play Wind Waker. Oh, have you not played it? No, I've not played ah! it. I, I don't have a Wii U. I don't have a GameCube. I'm getting you a GameCube. <laughs> he was probably born the same year Wind Waker came out as well. So he, <laughs> he doesn't know the oh, feeling of sprawling dumb. a map across the floor and, and charting your destination like you were a legitimate sea pirate oh it was great uh, it was great isn't legitimate sea pirate a little bit oxymoronic yeah maybe i just uh it, it sounded fun to say so loud, i like but, it uh, i like thank it. you i mean you were joking but i was like six months old when the game came out <laughs> <laughs> well you know this this game this 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 collection of these two games has been rumored for a really long time people in the industry have said oh yeah wind waker and twilight princess those have long been done nintendo's just waiting for the right opportunity they're gonna happen this time you know and it, people keep saying that over and over again um and even I've... There's just like one one mole on Nintendo. <laughs> and it's just saying, yeah, no, it's coming. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, maybe this will be the year just because it seems like a lighter year already. You know, we have a lot of ports and remasters. Uh, like Another Code Recollection was one already. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Luigi's Mansion 2. So maybe they'll keep the remaster oh, train cool. rolling and we'll get the, the, those Zelda games uh, towards the end of the year. I mean, I, I don't think anybody would be mad about that. No. Oh, someone will, and they'll no doubt be in the comments already. But you know, true, true. Present company accepted. I mean, it really depends on the on the price. There was a lot of controversy with Skyward Sword and its sixty dollar price. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. To be honest, I think if they released it as a double pack, they could release it at full price. Yeah, I would yeah. be fine with that, honestly. A game I'm not fine with not being on Switch 
We have Luigi's Mansion 3 and 2, <laughs> but not 1. Yes. Yeah, that's weird, because they got the 3DS remake. And yeah. Yet, yeah. Why didn't they do Luigi's yeah. Mansion 1 and 2 just like Pikmin 1 and 2? That would make so much sense. That's too much game. They can't do that. That's that's way too many games in one package. Um, <laughs> Nintendo did that once, and then they removed it from the store from store shelves, and that was Mario 3D All-Stars. You know, that was a gift to people. They couldn't do that again. God, that was a weird situation, wasn't it? Really, really weird. Yeah, it's really gross. Like, at the time, I kind of brushed it off, but looking on it now, it's just like, yeah, well... well what are you doing, Nintendo? Yeah. This was on my list as well, uh, just because it, it's so it's so strange, especially now in the U.S. Because I think in in Europe, right, it was called Luigi's Mansion Two, right? Just straight up, they didn't have a yeah, subtitle. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In North America, it was Luigi's Mansion Dark. It was Dawn. called Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. And he wore a cowboy hat the whole time. Yeah. And Polter Pup was actually a horse. <laughs> Who knew? That's how it. Yep. Yeah. You know, you've got it's it's it. This is common in localization, though, isn't it? In North yeah. America. Yeah, sometimes you yeah. you get a localizer that's just really into something so much that they have to inject it into the game. And Nintendo's just like, sure, it's fine. It's localizers. What are we going to do? I mean, interesting point in Princess Peach Showtime. Uh, Cowgirl Peach is exclusive to North America. No, she, no way. No <laughs> way. <laughs> joke. <Is> he, <laughs> Speaking of like the fact that Luigi's Mansion 1 was a GameCube game and then eventually came to the 3DS, it, uh, well, I guess I, I was going to say maybe this is a sign that like Nintendo is holding out to do a Nintendo Switch Online GameCube app eventually, um, but we already got Pikmin 1 plus 2. So, I, I, yeah. yeah, and we got Sunshine, but yeah, I mean, you could make the argument. It's not a good one, but you could make the argument that they're the Wii versions of the game, so... Oh, oh that, I, that is a good argument. I actually don't mind I that. I love Mario Sunshine on my Wii. I did, I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and even Metroid Prime was remastered. So, I I mean, I guess that, that shouldn't just... Yeah. That shouldn't cancel out a Nintendo Switch Online GameCube app, but it is weird Luigi's Mansion 1 is not here because that game is great. Yes. It's very important, and this is dumb. Yeah, I really like that game. I so what about it. Mother 3? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's just how Sion starts every conversation with him. Sion almost made it through <laughs> a section of a video without talking about Mother 3. <laughs> I'll join you, Sion. What about Mother 3? Why isn't it here? All I have to say is things we've already said right in previous videos. It's dumb. I, I, I also believe that maybe it will never happen, and that's fine. But, but at the same time, come on. It's free money at this point, Nintendo. Just you'll you'll get so much goodwill if you just release it. If someone at Nintendo yeah. is listening, just think of think of the children that are in Mother Three that need to be heard. <laughs> Their voices, please. Uh, but what about Metroid Prime Four? What about Metroid Prime Two and Three? Oh, oh! Yeah, oh, well, you know, it's it's early days. It's only been a year since Metroid Prime One Remastered was revealed. We've heard some, like, uh, rumorings around going, oh, maybe Metroid Prime 2, you know, um, which is about the easiest rumor you could ever come up with. So it could have just been something that somebody pulled out of their hat. <laughs> but at the same time, it would make a lot of sense. Um, as for Metroid Prime 4, I try not to think about it. <laughs> is it true that it was announced at E3 2017, which is seven yeah. years ago? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. When I looked that up, I was That's, like, "Well, six, I don't, I don't like, like that." Like six, six and three quarters. Mm, uh, good point. There's still a, there's still a chance it could come out within seven years of it being revealed. <laughs> I wonder if the Switch Two will get announced before we see Metroid Prime Four. Yes. Honestly, at this point, I'm assuming it's going to be um, a Switch Two game. Do you think they'll do a Twilight Princess thing where they put it on both just for obligation sake? Um. Probably not, because I imagine the um, the step up in quality with the Switch 2 will be more considerable. When you had uh, Twilight Princess, for example, with, mm. the, with the Wii and the GameCube, they were largely comparable in power. And with uh, Breath of the Wild, and Wii U and Switch, again, largely comparable in power. Mm -hmm. Not exactly the same by any means, but you know, they were the same experience. And I don't think we'd get that. Yeah. And I think Nintendo, that's not their thing. But I could be wrong. Well, it's, it's interesting, too, I, su I suppose, with how long the game has been, like, delayed now uh, or been been in development that, you know, maybe they started out on Switch 1 and then maybe at some point Nintendo either said, hey, switch over to Switch 2 development or keep Switch 2 in mind. And so, yeah, maybe they'll have just two enhanced or an enhanced version or uh, I, I would love to see them go all out for Switch 2, though. That would be 
I, I like where your head's at with that, though. I think that'd be nice. Yeah, unless, of course, the um, the Switch 2 is, like, part of the same ecosystem and, you know, every game that runs on Switch 2 will, will run on Switch, but not as well. But I don't hmm. think Nintendo would do that. I mean, speaking of games with a 2 in it, Mario Galaxy 2? Oh, yeah, that is weird. Yeah, that was a weird omission, wasn't it? That was really weird, Nintendo, you stupid buffoon. <laughs> you tell him, Felix. <laughs> Really weird it wasn't in the 3D All-Stars. I mean, it made sense in a sense that, you know, it was one game per, per like, generation and two was just more for one, but it was still... It's just weird we don't have it on Switch. Yeah, it is strange when, like, good games like that get forgotten for just, like, simple marketing decisions or, or something. I mean... These days, I feel like it'd be tough to argue like, oh, I could fit on the cartridge, so we didn't want to put it on there. We thought nobody would care. But <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the what the real reason was, if they're holding it back or if they or if Nintendo genuinely thinks it's not good enough. And this is just a guess that they just didn't want the um, the release to be too Mario Galaxy focused. Mm. If 50% mm. of the titles were Mario Galaxy, it would feel like a Mario Galaxy collection with some other games. And that's not what they wanted to do. It's, no. I, I'm not saying that's a good reason. I'm just saying that's my gut. No, but that, yes. that's a, that sounds like something that would come up in a boardroom now that you mention it. You know, you know, like maybe Mario Galaxy 2 was considered and then somebody brought up that exact example. And, and, and then everyone in the room raised their hands and went, ah, oh, they're right. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> so Silent Hill, I don't think has anything on Nintendo Switch, except for if you can include the, the Dead by Daylight, like expansion and characters that you can play as in the game. But Which like, we don't. Good, thank you. <laughs> I like me some Dead by Daylight. I do. Yeah, there's not a single one. And Konami's been doing a lot of remasters and, and remakes and things these days that, you know, and they've been putting out merchandise for Silent Hill left and right. I know they have new projects in the works, but there's not a, a single thing. And if they just simply like just took the original ROMs and dumped them into a bundle for us. I think a lot of fans would be really happy, but here we are, a still Silent hill -less Switch universe. I don't like it. Silent Hill is silent on Switch. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That sounds like they released it, but just without the audio. <laughs> Actually, There's a yeah. bug. No. That would be a bug. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, it's something I really believed in, actually. I, I thought this was going to be a surefire bet. 100%. I can't believe we're seven years into the Switch and we don't have Dreamcast games right now. And when I say we don't have Dreamcast games, like Alex, Felix, I went back and looked. I couldn't find a single first party Dreamcast game by Sega that's been ported over to Switch. So no. Oh, I was going to say, I know uh, Shadow Man is on Switch. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there are a couple third parties, but we have no no Crazy Taxi 1 and 2, no Jet Set Radio, no Sonic Adventure, no Sega Bass Fishing, no Shenmue, no Fantasy Star Online, no Skies of Arcadia, no Choo Choo Rocket. And then on that top- That was gonna be my one, ah. no Choo Choo Rocket, even oh. though I find the GBA one superior. It is, it is very swell, but there's something about getting a bunch of friends Join uh, together, looking at one screen, trying to defend your defend your bases is a, is a great time. I'm gonna have the mouse mania theme in my head now for the rest of the day. Ooh, I need to go look that up. Bum, bum, bada, bum, 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 bada, bum, bum, bada, bum, 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 It's just that over and over again. I got to try out Crazy Taxi at an arcade for the first time here. Oh, nice. Last year, and it was so fun. I wish we had Crazy Taxi on the Switch. Was that when we all went to uh, uh, MQ64? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm glad you got to try that. That arcade version is really cool. And the, the, the best thing is the Dreamcast version is it's basically the same thing. They run on very similar hardware, uh, a lot of like Dreamcast and arcade versions, because that's just where the technology was at the time. Mm -hmm. And during the, the PlayStation 3 era, Sega went and like just re released a bunch of Dreamcast games individually on online storefronts. And they even put out like a compilation disc with a couple different games for 360. So I'm hoping maybe like Maybe they'll just release them all on Nintendo Switch Online at some point, and that'll be, like, a, a huge win for Nintendo Switch Online. Because I think that would that would really fill out the catalog with a lot of really good games that... I mean, we're, we get a lot of good stuff for the Genesis app, um, but nobody cares because we've seen so many of those games in other shapes or forms already, so... <laughs> I'm glad you're as upfront with that as I feel everyone else is. It's just... You know, sort of, yeah, it's cool that we've got it, but realistically, no one cares. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they do put some effort in and putting, like, cool stuff on there. Like, Pulse Man was a Game Freak game that uh, is, like, a Mega Man-style, like, platformer, and it's super hard. So they do good stuff with the Genesis app, but they could do so many cool things with the Dreamcast app, too. You know, getting Soul Calibur in there if they wanted. Maybe.
maybe uh, Power Stone, we'd all be having a great time. It'd, it'd be a good app. I mean, speaking of NSO uh, stuff that is just not there yet, I feel like there's some obvious stuff. I know, Alex, at least, you would like to see Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Banjo Tooie. Yeah. Donkey Kong 64, Super Mario Land. You know, there's still Ooh, yeah. some some great games that... Hang on, Super Mario Land is coming. I don't think it is. No. They announced it at the weekend. They announced some other Mario games, didn't they? Yeah, everyone just complained about the fact that it, it still isn't coming. Did I misread the headline? <laughs> I had a whirlwind of a weekend. I only caught the headline. <laughs> but honestly, that's... That's how it feels, though, right? Like, Mar Sup how is Super Mario Land, the first one, not on Nintendo Switch Online? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was Dr. Mario, it was Mario Tennis, and uh, Mario Golf, the Game Boy Color, and, you know, what, Dr. Mario. What, it's sports Game games? Yeah. The hell, Nintendo? What? Yeah, my favorite sport, Doctor. Are they embarrassed in Super Mario Land? Is there some something about it? Are they, <gasps> what if they're remastering Super Mario Land? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why, but maybe. <laughs> it's a cute maybe. little game, but it's very, like, it's not very Mario. It's very strange. It's, it's very best. of its time, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Oh, a franchise that I'm baffled is non Switch. Oh. Rhythm Heaven. Yo. Why? Mm. Like, I played Mega Mix here. I think it was also last year. Such a good game. And that, they could just port that, you know, make some tweaks, make it. That, that could work on Switch because the lower screen is mostly just used for tapping with your stylus, but you can also just tap with buttons. Yeah, yeah. And down there, it, it just shows like the, the rhythm. But there, there has to be a way that they can translate that to the Switch. I'm hoping this is just a matter of time with like all of the other weird niche franchises that have come over, you know? One thing I do want to throw out there, this game is only coming to Steam right now, but have you guys heard of the game Bits and Bops? By chance? Yes, I have. Okay, it sweet. Looks really good. I have not. It is Rhythm Heaven to a T. Like so much so that I'm nervous for them to release it. It's it's excellent. I got to play it at Day of the Devs, I think it was, uh, at the Game Awards last year. And there's a demo. Oh, there is. Awesome. Yeah. I, I tried out the demo because they actually had a demo for Mac, which a lot of Steam demos. Ah. They are just not compatible with Mac, so that was really nice. I mean, if they're bringing this game to Mac, then hopefully that means they'll bring it to Switch as well, and we'll get our Rhythm Heaven fixed then. But that's a good shout, Felix. That's real good. In case anyone was paying attention, that little beep was the sound of me turning on my Steam Deck in order to download the demo. Oh, yay! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, let us know what you think, man. I I was really surprised by it. Uh, speaking of being surprised, which is the this entire video, uh, <laughs> Chrono Trigger also isn't on Switch Oh my still. god. Yeah. So overdue. <laughs> yeah, I, I went back and looked. It's been six years since the game has had any sort of re-release. It, it came to Steam in 2018, and I, they've updated it since then. But beyond mobile, it's still not on PS4, PS5, Xbox. It's not on any modern system except for the Steam Deck. Uh, but and that's... Chrono Trigger on Steam is only for Windows, so I can't even play that. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, I really want to play this game. This game means a lot to a lot of people, so I'm hoping that Square Enix is just, they understand that, and I think it means a lot to them too, so hopefully they're trying to yeah remake it or remaster it in a special way that gives it its dues. This would work so well with the HD 2D style, I feel. Dude, imagine this is a Switch 2, like, launch window game. Mm, dang! <laughs> I think we're dreaming right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> it, dude. It's nice too. this one. This next one that I had, Felix, actually is kind of up your alley. Really? Uh, probably Alex's too. And it's up my alley, too. But you uh, like a uh, year or two ago, whenever the last Monkey Island game came out, you played through that and loved it. Oh, yes. Ooh, I really yeah. like Return to Monkey Island. It's such a good game. Yeah, I still so haven't gotten to play it myself. Having, but having the other games there. Yeah, ooh, that yeah. would be nice. Having the first and second game, especially because the, the first one, I, I I think both of them, I know. Know, I know the first one was remade in um, HD on 360. They like went and like repainted all the visuals. Oh yeah, I I I, I had that, oh, and sweet. it had some. I mean, it had some voice acting. It did. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah, I don't remember loving the voice acting. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't. The thing is, I don't know whether it's slightly intentional because. Like Guybrush especially is always a bit, he's meant to be a, a bit crap at everything he does, yeah, you know? Yeah, point, so I yeah. don't know whether that was maybe trying to play off that. It's been so long, so I can't say with any confidence. I mean, I've just heard that the games by Ron Gilbert, who also returned to make Return to Monkey Island, those games, I think he made the first, second, and then there's like a third one, but there's two third ones or something <laughs> like that. Oh, I can't remember exactly how it is. There's, there's a weird timeline. 
I, I really enjoyed the, the point and click adventure and people only say good stuff about them. Besides Alex, who don't like the voice acting. When Felix, you're such a prime example of like how, and I, sorry that I'm, I'm using you as a, as a, <laughs> uh, as no a, worries. that I'm putting you on this platform in this case, but you're such a prime example of like how important it really is to have games like on every modern day game system. Cause like you originally didn't grow up with like the Ace Attorney games, right? But now, like, I mean, you can tell that story. Yeah, I, I, it's so nice to have the Ace Attorney, like all the Ace Attorney games on Switch and just being able to, you know, slowly playing them. I, I finished the first one, now I'm taking a bit of a break. I want to return to the second one. I finished the, the great Ace Attorney games with Narahodo, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Rinusuke. I mean, yeah, just being able to pick them up and have them all here. It's kind of a, it's a cool timeline that we live in now to be able to have like crazy weird stuff on Switch just at our fingertips like that. Um, but also to have the, like stuff like the Steam Deck too. That's, I can't believe that's really an invention that exists. And I know Alex, you get a lot of use out of yours, but. Not as much as I'd like, but that's due to uh, a crippling condition I have called being Alex. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that shake out to? What does that look like? I'm, I'm not an Alex, so I'm not. I'm, I, have, I have I have a brother who is an Alex, but I've never asked. Uh, complex emotions and not getting enough gaming done. Mm. It does sound like a problem that uh, many Alexes would have in their life. I, I can see. <laughs> I can understand. Oh, oh, it's not even exclusive to Alexes. I don't wish to worry you or anything, but this can affect almost anyone. Yeah, especially people. People with said and their names. Oh, that's not be. true. That's not true. I finished Golden Sun last night. Whoa. I did. I Ooh. swear. I finished Persona 5 the other day. Oh, I, dude, I saw that. Alex, what about you? What have you finished lately? Don't don't tell us the sickness really got you. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, wait, for the <laughs> oh, first well, that's or, a long game. First or second time? Uh, first, I'm on my second playthrough now. <laughs> Alex, I, I wow. hate to break it to you, but it sounds like um you, uh, you more have the Baldur's Gate disease right now, I think, actually. Oh, <laughs> That is a real disease, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though, that I genuinely, from my Wii U list, I, I genuinely am surprised <laughs> they haven't brought over. Mm -hmm. uh, NES Remix 1 and 2. Well, Ooh. you know, they brought it to even the 3DS, and it was it was a great way. It was arguably a more interesting way to play any of the really old games, you know, things like tennis um, and, you know, sort of like the old racing games. Wait, this is the first time there's I hear no, there's this. No... What is NES Remix? Oh, oh, my son. This it's a game cool. <laughs> where you get like these little like bite-sized chunks of, um, of, of old NES games. What? And you get a little challenge in them and sometimes they change it up or mix them together and stuff like that. Honestly, it's great. This sounds awesome. I'm looking at the box. I've genuinely never seen this before. This looks so cool. I used to have them and then never played them, but <laughs> you're saying they're really good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they're great fun. I need to get this now for my 3DS. It just feels like a slam dunk as well, you know? You don't need the gamepad. It's just old NES games, come on. It's also on 3DS, I see. I might get it there. Yeah, I think that was like Ultimate NES Remix or something like that. So to wrap things up, let's just each do one one last pick. And I, it's, it's, uh, I'll, I'll start out. Unicorn Overlord just came to Switch recently and it got me thinking... That doesn't count, Zeon, it's on Switch! Oh, shoot, you're <laughs> right. Oh, dang it, no, I'm crumbling. Ah, No, so so Unicorn Overlord, right, is developed by Vanillaware. Uh, they've been around for years. They have quite a, a history of of great of making great games. They, they put 13 sentinels on switch that one came out a little bit after the after it originally released on ps4 but it came to switch eventually and the strange thing to me though is that we haven't gotten some of their other games like muramasa the demon blade odin sphere they're one of their first games princess crown and then even dragon's crown is like a multiplayer beat-em-up uh, that would be perfect for Switch uh, with like the couch co-op focus of the console. Um, but none of those are there. And I know Atlas and Sega love to like reproduce and republish their games quite often. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm really surprised that Odin, Muramasa and Dragon's Crown aren't on Switch yet. Because most of those have seen like HD remasters on other platforms already. Like Muramasa was a Wii title and then it came to the PlayStation Vita and we haven't seen it since. And uh, yeah, it's just, I, I hope we get some Vanillaware love on, on Switch at some point. I must admit, I didn't realize they'd been going that long. I've heard of, I've heard of Muramasa, uh, uh -huh. but uh, nothing about it. So yeah, I'm, I, I just learned something new. That's quite nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how far they're like, 
like what happened in between but princess crown came out on the saturn and then and then the the, the next title i knew about was odin sphere after that on ps2 but um but yeah they've been doing they've been in the business for a long time it seems so yeah maybe maybe a collection at some point that'd be cool just put a couple of these together call it 60 bucks and and shelve it and there we go but no i think they should call it something else you know <laughs> like the vanillaware collection yeah 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 it, just what what uh what would you what would you call it oh personally i'd call it yoshi's woolly world <sighs> no that's, that's my oh, vid oh, that's my game nice damn you're thinking of a different uh, game but yeah yoshi's woolly world how how is how is it not how's it not on the switch you know i know we've got yoshi's crafted world but that's not the, it's not as good it's just not as good it's just not as good yoshi's woolly world is just is so much better it's much more refined it doesn't need the gamepad come on i'm just amazed it hasn't been brought over yet maybe it's like good feels decision or something i don't know but then they brought out uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn on the 3DS, so God knows. I'm glad to hear that you think that Woolly World still has legs in it, because I, I remember enjoying what I played of it back in the day, uh, which, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just used back in the day for a Wii U title. Back in the day. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've played it, so it, it's nice to hear that other people, you know, other people also enjoyed it too. And I have one more game to talk about. What do you got, Felix? So this is an old game. This this is just like a personal thing. I would just really like to see this on Switch. It's um Don't you say it. It's Buzz Junior Jungle Party. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, this is um so these are like party games. Well, this is one of the party <laughs> games, but on the PlayStation 2 there was a thing called Buzz, which were these weird remotes. Oh, like it had like yeah. this red button and these four colored ones. I played one of those for the first time. In fact, I played two of them for the first time, like a few months ago. What? I've never played the Buzz games before. Did you play the one with monkeys? Um, I don't think so. Ah. I think it was just the music quiz, which I failed atrociously at because I wasn't expecting it to be covers. And the other one was just general knowledge, which I did okay at. Okay. So this one is a party game where you play as four different colored monkeys. And it's just so much fun. I played it. All the time when I was visiting my family in Spain, I actually own a copy. I just don't have the bus remotes. It would work perfectly fine just with a switch controller. You just change the buttons to be, you know, X, Y, B, A, or, you know, the trigger things. And it would just be so accessible for player co-op. Just get to play the games. Mm -hmm. I know it's never going to happen, but I would love to see. I mean, it is, it is, last I remember, it's a Sony franchise, but we are in the world where we see Xbox bringing their games over to Switch. Maybe Sony's like, you know what? Buzz would sell so well on Switch. Let's just try it. <laughs> let's just, let, that's going to be our guinea pig. Let's, let's see if Sony games work on Switch. How are people going to buy them? If, you, if they don't buy Buzz, then, well, then I guess they don't want them. So maybe yeah, that's. If they don't <laughs> buy Buzz, there's no good. Ghost of Tsushima, no uh, Horizon. <laughs> oh my gosh, could you I imagine? I mean, we've got, we've got a Sony game already. Oh, we do? We've got MLB The Show, yeah. Whoa, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's no, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn. It is much more. Let me choose a different game. Let's choose a different game. Let me be better one than that oh we do actually that's breath of it's the wild no, it's no spider-man miles morales but you know it's it, it's something you know what else i would like to see is what the lovely people at home think uh let us know what games you're surprised haven't come to switch yet i, I the, the list is probably massive there are a lot of things i know that we we probably haven't considered but there there are a lot of things too that i like i was like you know I, I can't believe the Resident Evil games aren't on Switch, but they are. Almost all of them are on Switch. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot what happened. That there was just so many games where I thought, hey, that's actually on Switch. So uh, it was that that just shows just... Is, is your internal voice usually a lot higher or is that... Yep, that's how I talk. Good to know. Why does Alex question my internal voice? I said with my internal voice. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like a little like gnome, like a little uh, like a little fairy voice. I dig it. It's, it, it makes a lot of sense. Little Felix. <laughs> Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, why don't you get caught off guard by that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we put up a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Alex and Felix, for coming along for this chat that no um, ended up being a lot longer than I thought. I remember I remember looking at the clock at one point and being like, oh, we're, we're pretty far along in this. We're only like 20 minutes in. And then, uh, you know, that's what happens when we're having fun. It just it gets... It gets crazy. <laughs> I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. Stay safe out there, and we will see you all next time. Hello, I'm Little Alex. <laughs> <laughs>
Little Alex, put him in a oh, bottle. Okay. Catch him. Felix, grab the net. Okay, little Alex, right here. I got him. Yes. yes. He's ours. It genuinely sounded like you said, grab a baguette. <laughs> Alex loves a good baguette. Little Alex does, at least. I, I do. <laughs> I do love a good baguette.